Okay, remember that they are changing my voice. So evictions are said to be way up. You know, over a million evictions in the last year. I have a sound and solid war on poverty plan that people are ignoring. 5.4 trillion over 30 years, over 30 years. Okay, it's 180 billion a year. And so it's a little over 5.4 because it should be uh, 220 the first year. So it's 5.44 trillion dollars. Okay, 220 billion the first year, 180 billion every year after that. Now listen carefully. Okay, this is an affordable new wealth taxes. People are ignoring this plan. People are dying in the streets. People are being evicted. The stress rate is through the roof. Mental health, you know, problems have drastically increased. And guess what? Like I've been saying for years, thank you, for years, thank you. The environment is the determinant, the circumstances of your life, the nurture in society or the lack thereof, your situation, what's going on with you, your background stressors. So we need to pass the plan immediately. Immediately. And some people are being evicted after being robbed and so on and so forth in many, many cities. And what I see is that people are so kind of abused by society psychologically that believe it or not they're not taking it anywhere near as serious as they should when people are very poor they tend to not care about the consequences and face their government especially for what is right we don't see them doing that are they exercising their right to protest for what's right in a peaceful and organized and orderly manner where they allocate Several hundred people, for example, you know, as people who de-escalate situations, who come between people and the, po the police, right, who are the front lines of the protest to make sure that they can't accuse us of anything wrong and that people don't do anything wrong. No, they're not doing that. And they're not doing that for the war on poverty plan. Now there's a million evictions. You know, am I saying I told you so? Ha 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 ha. No. This is serious. People are suffering. You've got to stand for what's right and stop falling for what's wrong. Is this what a, being an American is? Just being trampled around the clock, seeing all your rights go away, seeing people die in the streets, your friends strung out on drugs, your neighbors robbed, children abused. Substance abuse must be skyrocketing too. I get so many statistics in the news because of my feed has to do with what I look up all the time. So I get a lot of housing stuff. I get a lot of social issues. It's hard to keep track of all that and, and, and to do my Bible readings and everything else that I do. But I'm telling you, for sure, as someone who stays on top of this to a large degree every single day, that is very, very bad out there. However bad you think it is, it's worse. How many, many people you think are suffering from sex trafficking? It's worse than that. However many people you think are the victims of crime, it's worse than that. However many people you think are getting away with crime, it's worse than that. If we don't solve these problems, more people are going to be raped and abused and more people are going to die. And people's lack of action, people being slack in their work, their apathy, their indifference, their lack of moving with purpose, moving effectively and efficiently will testify against them. Just like the politician's lack of action. It has been time to act. And certainly, now it is time to act. You're going to wait till it plays out the way your oppressor wants? And just try to weather the storm? That's what a lot of people who are homeless in the streets thought. A lot of people who got evicted. A million eviction cases. You know, the people involved in those cases thought. You've got to get on top of it now. If you don't plan life, life does the planning for you. Don't be like a, a ship, you know, lost at sea where the wind just blows it every which way that it wants. Take initiative, scramble to do what's right, face adversity, seize the day, do what is fair, just, and right. The plan would have effective housing, small homes, where the rent is only $500 a month. You'd be on a plot of land, like 15 acres or so. There'd be 50 of them on a plot of land in a rural area. 
But imagine if your rent was only 500 instead of 5,000. We could build millions of these small homes if we wanted to. Over a million tiny homes. Or homeless people live there for free and pay as they can to keep feeding the program. Vice taxes for rehabs on top of that plan. 5% vice taxes to build rehabs so we can turn this situation around. They should have done this years ago. The tax rate should reflect how much it costs to end homelessness in a cost-effective manner with FBI agents actively on the task, comparing the purchases to private purchases, relaxing environmental legislation and whatever else is in the way. You build all these millions and millions of homes and buildings, you know, without all these you know, extreme environmental legislation, uh, you know, processes and, and legislation. So why can't you build homes for the poor and the homeless so they're not out in the street, so they have the amount of money they need to be free? In a capitalist nation where people are scrambling to brainwash you to be the slaves of old money, one needs a certain amount of money to be free. And if they don't give you that bare minimum amount of money, you're better off dead. If they want you to prostitute yourself, you're better off dead. Say no to their sexual control. 